So I'm just starting to edit the video that you're watching now, but I wanted to tell you guys something before we went into this video. The episode one and two were some of the most impressive in uh, terms of story writing and theme and atmosphere that I've seen out of Bohemian Interactive in a long, long time. That kind of changes with episode three. This is the final episode of uh, Arma 3 Contact, and this one has a lot more combat, has a lot more fighting, and with that, it brings in a lot more of just standardized Arma. And as we all know, standardized Arma combat is not exactly perfect. Are you co- are you- are you- what? Yep. Oh my gosh, really? Right, this symbol. Take. Oh wait, what? Wait, that's not how this is supposed to work. My camera is there. I can't shoot. What can I do? Can I throw a grenade? Oh, I can throw a grenade. Take me, grenade, take me. Take me. It, it did not take me. <laughs> the storytelling is great, but when you get stuck in a bug like this where you can see yourself, it's kind of a... It's kind of an odd experience. Alright, well, uh, I'm gonna go die and come back. See you in the next life. What? You did not prevent alien network destruction. What? One of those damn fools with a gun in her hand. I'm speaking now. I'm speaking to you. Do not shoot me. Dude. Got him. Oh! Rudd, I got an update from Sapphire. The alien entity's gone quiet. Seems he's settled down someplace. How about you use the Spectrum device? Find out what he's up to. Maybe we can put things straight. You know, establish peaceful contact. Nope. I don't want to get mind fucked again. Over. Hey, don't be like that. I think he was reaching out to you. Anyway, chain of command. Corporal, specialist. <laughs> That's funny. You're giving me orders now? Yeah, it's my prerogative, ain't it? Trace the signal and try a cultural exchange of some sort. Out. Hold space to examine. Huh. Map marking. He's up. You know, that looks like the things that were surrounding the huge, the huge one. There's an M14 up there. One mag in it, though. Alright, um, I'm gonna steal this four-wheeler. Use this the rest of the way. Alright. There we go, it's pulsing. Friend. All right, Jack, I'm close. I'm gonna give this a shot. Do something like I did back at Point Hopi, only minus all the bad stuff. Over. Copy. And uh, hey, the nerds here have a 
theory about the radio waves you sent it off. It might be telemetry. Oh. You're saying this thing's automated? Like, remote controlled? So who's operating it? stop you I don't know what to do it's trying to defend itself What is happening? Hi, buddy. How you doing? other music okay you open up this one no that's okay so that's not what you want you want this right what the heck what is going on? <laughs> okay, so you like no the this one likes this. This is trippy stuff, man. Oh. Oh, did you poop something? You pooped something down there. Let me get up, let me get up. Jack. Jack. It happened. Some ah oh, fuck. It's like I'm remembering and then I don't know. Forget it. Yeah, I get that. Is he still there? No. No, he's gone. He jumped. I'm gonna move in though. See what he was doing. Wait out. It took me forever Jack, to You're definitely gonna wanna hear this. I got more of that levitating crap. An overturned World War II bunker and another route. The Whoa. alien must have brought it up with its gravity tech. Over. I guess Dr. Kesson's right. They've come all this way for that. You think you can get a soft tissue sample from it? I don't know, can I? Yeah, now that's a question. Let me pass you over. Uh, over. Huh. Christ. Hello, Rockwell. Hello. Okay. I'd like to talk to you about our subterranean friend. Imagine what you see is an ordinary electric cable. There's the jacket, the insulation, and within that, a copper conductor. But unlike normal cable, the copper in this one has feelings. If it's exposed and you upset it, the inner wire retracts. 
Are you with me so far, Specialist? Affirmative. Splendid. What we need you to do is connect Eddie and then maneuver him into a position where he can access a cavity in the outer casing. If you walk over yourself, our cable is going to get agitated and high for a while. This thing can see me? No, we can't see you, but it can sense your thermal signature. Once you've got Eddie's manipulator arm in place and the lens is over a hole, grab a sample. So, not the laser, the other thing. Not the laser. The composition we already know. Or no, we don't know, rather. Mica with potassium atoms sandwiched between nanoscale layers of silica, plus eco francium, which is really, really exciting. I bet. And, so we're clear, I'm driving up and sticking it with a glorified cattle prod? Uh, yes, you've got the gist of it. Good luck. Over and out. All right, Eddie. Give it a little. Uh, got it. Hey, Jack. Doctor Chapek. Whichever one of you's got the radio, uh, we're about done. Over. Good. Grab Eddie and go. Sapphire just called in. He intercepted a message from the LDF. There's a squad closing in on your position. Move your ass. Over. Acknowledged. I'm taking off. Out. Where? I want to get Eddie. Uh, disassemble and take. Okay, Eddie. All right, let's get out of here. I don't know what they're gonna do with that. Where do I need to go? That was interesting. We definitely communicated a little bit with the. Uh, with the alien there. That's weird. When I click my night vision goggles down, they just go black. Look. They're just blackness. Huh. Oh, it's because the electronics don't work. I forgot. Yeah, I'm dumb. So I don't even need night vision goggles. Toss these, toss these bad boys out of there. There's the vehicle the crew that's kind of come look for me, I guess. Yep, let's go. Oh, there's something glow over here. So, there's a crash site, but it's not alien. One of ours? Over. No idea. I don't see any markings. It's literally a black helicopter. An orca. Could be Russian. Could be CSAT out of Belarus. Huh. Over. Copy. Can you poke around for intel? Yeah. Yeah, give me a second. Over. Huh. There's some kind of small object here. Fuck me, running, Rudd. You want to be a little more vague? It's a weird scientific instrument. Nice. If it's that funky fresh, take it with you. No problem. And I die. Okay. Time out. I gotta keep moving. Baker? Dill? Rudwell. I'm approaching the perimeter. Respond. Over. Uh oh. Nothing heard. Anybody copy? Over. Uh oh. Oh, no, not good. Hey, pal! Cool. Who's that? I saw a Gorka. Is this Spetsnaz? Go out the back. Oh shoot! Are you kidding me? Товарищ капитан, ничего. Ты уверен, что видел, как американец его забрал? Он подошел к обломкам, взял детектор и ушел. Главной задачей было ядро. 
Если мы не найдем устройство, то мы не сможем отследить его местоположение по корням. Нам нужно использовать нейтроны, чтобы найти его. Это называется нейтрино. И да, без них никак. What? У нас ничего для этого нет. Так что создать карту их подземной сети не получится. План Б. Твою мать. Я думал, у нас недостаточно человек для этого. Других вариантов нет. Помнишь, что было в Валоме? Тот взрыв покажется детской хлопушкой по сравнению с тем, что может произойти здесь. Если честно, мы не знаем. Рад, что они говорят? Shut up, Dill. I'm listening. А что насчет пиндосов? Убить их? Никак нет. Они создают хаос, и это играет нам на руку. Оставьте их там. Двое других скоро вернутся в лагерь. Пора выдвигаться. The other two are coming back. So what did they say? They were Russian, right? Yeah. At least they were speaking it. You speak Russian? They were after the device from the downed helo. One of them said it was for detecting neutrinos. The other said it was a bouncer. And the routes we've seen, they lead back to a central core. And for some reason, that's important. Oh, I got it. Of course. That bouncer? It's a neutrino streamer. They're using it like a ground-penetrating radar. If we mount it on Eddy, we can use it to map the network. The entire huh. geophilus structure can simultaneously expel neutrinos from inside, and yet reflect them on the outside. Layman's terms, yeah? Sorry, uh, neutrinos. You guys heard about the neutrino storm, didn't you? Talk sense, Doc. The day you damn Yanks got here and started dropping bombs, there was a huge surge in neutrinos hitting our planet. Neutrinos are virtually massless particles that rarely interact with matter. We thought their source was extrasolar. Turned out, they were flowing outwards, not inwards. Not from stars, but from those roots beneath our feet. Hmm. They alive, Doc? Not they. It. Is it alive? Well, it's bioengineered. Part synthetic, part organic. Do any of you know what the largest living thing on Earth is? Blue whale. Blue whale. Good guess, but no. A clue, it's an organ. Oh, isn't it a plant? It's a fungus. Miles. It's a fungus. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah they got that humongous fucking fungus there. Yes. Nearly 10,000 years old and spanning that four is square miles. Nuts. The roots here, we believe they're part of something like that. Just older and maybe bigger. We believe it's some sort of probe seeded on our planet by intelligent life millions of years ago. So, our, our aliens? They're, they're checking up on it? Maybe, maybe not. Tell them about the spamming, Chapek. The neutrino emissions are encoded. There's an information being sent into space in all directions. The same thing over and over at the rate we can even calculate. Traveling near the speed of light. The beings out there, they may have only received the message. Meaning what, Doc? The probe might not belong to them. The aliens aren't invading, they're collecting. That's English. Yo, what the hell? About time you showed up. Somebody tossed the camp. Yeah, the Russians. They're sending people in. Spetsnaz? Probably, I don't know. Yeah, one more reason to get out of Dodge. Come on, I got us a ride that's not kaput. Let's get a move on. Okay, so I usually would never do this in a walkthrough unless the game itself was just so, so, so bad that I didn't want to play it and I also didn't want to go through the footage again to edit it. So what I'm going to do here is actually just describe one of the hour and a half long missions that I went through and then I'm going to skip that mission entirely and just go on to the next one because this single mission was the most aggravating moment I've probably had in my entirety of recording Arma 3 single player stuff. I don't know what it was in this mission. It was just a, it was a bland mission, plus it was broken Arma 3 most of the time. I had insane amounts of bugs in this mission. The frame rate was nearly 25 the entire time. I don't know why I'm running at one FPS. It's just Arma, Arma strikes back, man. You get these moments where it's like amazing and then you get these moments where it just turns back into Arma and it just randomly hits one FPS and I've been sitting here for a minute and a half after after I already spent so long just trying to figure out what how I was going to complete the objective. 
I tried to talk to the alien for like 45 minutes and then just ended up getting shot by a crew of guys who just easily walked through the alien's force field where you basically are being stunned every two seconds but then the enemies wouldn't get stunned every two seconds so they would just run right through the force field and just kill me. The alien didn't defend itself against the guys or anything. It just let them walk up with rifles and then let them shoot me while I was trying to communicate to it. I don't even understand. But the entirety of the mission is just me going around with the little grenade thing that I found off of the Russian helicopter. That, I guess it's not really a grenade, it's more like a scientific device. It scans the ground, it tells me where the roots are so I can use Eddy to poke the little golden things in the tubes, the roots that are coming out of the ground. That is the entirety of the mission. And it was so buggy and so bad I don't even want to show you it, so we're just gonna boop, skip to the next mission because it, uh, it, was, it was just bad. Oh man, finally, after like 30 minutes, I'm not joking you guys, it took me about 30 minutes to finally figure out the pattern. I don't know if I'm really, really dumb or if I'm just lazy. Just for that to happen. <laughs> Some areas are pretty clean like this, but every once in a while there's a rock like that that you have to dodge. Whoa! Or that flips your truck because Arma. Oh, it's Arma again. Arma, I thought you stopped being Arma for a second, but. Uh. Alrighty, I think we're getting close now to the meetup point. These forests, man, they're so spooky. You know, at the. Um, I guess time is still clicking. So it is midnight right now. I think at the beginning of these missions, it wasn't midnight. It was like the very beginning of night. So I wonder if over the course of the campaign, is it, if it's all in one night. Because that'd be kind of... That'd be a cool idea. I'm guessing it will be. I don't think it'll go into daytime. Because I think that's the overall theme. Is that everything is in night. Lane! Still awake, pal? Yeah. Rough fucking night, huh? Jack needs you for some shit. Don't ask me what. Hey, you good? Yeah. Where's Sapphire? They're already up the hill at the radio tower. And the LDF? I don't know. They just went. Can't you leave the damn van? No, we need it. If we're gonna get out of here, it's gotta be incognito. Hmm. Baker's just fixing the flat. Go on ahead. Find Lieutenant Kingsley. Tell him we're on our way. This looks like it's him. Lieutenant Kingsley. Jesus. Good to see you, sir. Yeah, likewise. Oh, that's him. You're not with the corporal? No, he's at the intersection, bottom of the hill. Should be here any second. We got a flat. You get any data? Samples. From the underground routes. In case they're a bio threat or something, I don't know. No, that's great work. So, we got power now? Yeah. Just gotta flick the transfer switch. It's still routing from the emergency generator, which was out of diesel from the get-go. Honor's all yours. Throw the lever on the wall over there. Press space. Armed Forces Radio, live on the air. Hey, hey! There be light. Okay, you may as well finish the job, Rudwell. My gear's in that two-story building. There's working tech, left over from our first attempt. Access my laptop, then click on the red automation button. It's an improvised arrangement, but it should do the trick. Okay. Hope you're right. We just lit ourselves up like a Christmas tree. Red button, and... Shit, here goes. Alchemist, any station. Flash. This is an emergency broadcast. Oh, saving. The saving is so awkward. Disrupted. Severe damage to all communications. Lieutenant Kingsley. Trunk network Corporal down. Snipe. Confirmed Don't sighting shoot. of Alpha Fox Coming Drop Coming up on Oscar. the compound. South side. Civilians in tow and, uh, yeah, we got company. There's a boomer. Inbound. Looks like you got his attention. Oh, no, 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 no. Get him inside your head. Yeah, like, piss off. I don't need this thing rearranging my brain, Jack. Just do it. This is our last chance. Maybe we can show them we're not all gun token idiots this time. No one engage if Rudwell goes down. Copy. Oh my god. We got eyes on. 
ROE. Nobody fire unless fired upon. All right, buddy. Corporal, Talk to me. Run, do that thing with the spectrum device again. Communicate. Come on, buddy. No, this song's not working. What about your main... Okay. Don't know what that was, but all right, buddy. Okay, so not that one. I'm gonna look at Nope, okay, I failed. I think I failed. Might be... Okay. Okay, no, he doesn't like that. Okay. I don't know what the heck is going on. I don't think noise works. I don't think he likes noise. Alright, now what about this top one? Alright, come on now. That's new. Oh, no. We gotta go back. I have no idea what's going on. Stop okay. Interface with him. Move up. I don't know. Careful, what all right? All units stay calm. Fingers Okay, so I think that's showing like the things all over our planet. There's the Milky Way. I don't know what that is. Oh. I think it's like trying to tell me that they had like a big intergalactic like city kind of spanning the area. What how long has it been? You coming around? Rod, man. Talk about taking one for the team. Jesus, my head. You hit it when you fell. Trust me, though. You'll live. Come on. Up and at him. Oh, there's Spetsnaz just casually sitting over there. One with a low poly face. I like that. How long have I been out? Long enough. The boomer's gone, and the Russians are here. Oh, yeah, yeah, and worse, Russians. they're not the fucking problem. We're on a razor's edge. You, me, them, all of us. I saw the mothership. <laughs> Captain Severov needs to speak to you. He's having trouble explaining shit in English. Severov. Captain who? Captain Severov, the guy with the cap over by the gate. The low poly face guy. Got it. Oh, oh saving. Please wait. Ataman, это шашка. Силу лимонии перешли в наступление. Для проведения в действие плана Дитя Грома к нам присоединится группа американцев. Oh, we're gonna join the Spetsnaz? Все отряды приближаются к рубежу регулирования. Man, Russians and Arma, I miss. I miss yeah. Russians and Arma, man. My name is Captain Severov. They just fit in Arma. Special Purpose Detachment, Russian Federation. Daleko vas od doma zabrosilo, Kapitan. So it's true. An educated American. Russians just fit in Arma. They fit so much better than C. Sat. Слышал, что нашли хорошее применение нашему нейтринному детектору. Ты знал, что все корни соединены между собой, что у них есть ядро. Ты знаешь, почему я здесь? Почему они тоже здесь? Доктор Кэссон, explain danger of core. Rodwell, lad, you remember in 2020, a meteor hit Olam. That thing in Siberia? Oh, don't tell me it wasn't a meteor, Doc. Aye. Ruskies were drilling for oil. Found what you find here. Only what they had. It was defunct, crushed by the movement of tectonic plates. The whole thing had biomineralized. Huge cover-up. The roots were connected to a central device, a hub, a node, part of a cosmic communications network. 
powered by exotic energy. Non-baryonic matter. Negative mass. They break open and boom! 30 megaton explosion. And that one? It wasn't even bloody active. Imagine what this could do. Goodbye, Livonia? Yeah. Maybe. That's if we're lucky. And if we're not? Hell. Then all bets are off. You ever hear a bubble nucleation? The visions. Distribution it! Oh, one of the planes hit it. One of the planes just collided with it. Livonian Defense Force, they begin. Begin what? Our mutually assured destruction. Captain, you guys have a contingency for this? There a plan? Plan? Yes, America. Only not good. We separate. Three teams. Наш лейтенант возьмет один отряд, чтобы ликвидировать артиллерийский расчет на гребне к северу отсюда. Капрал возьмет другой отряд, чтобы оттянуть на себя подкрепление. Okay. Все остальные атакуют заводы, захватывают ядро, пока еще не слишком поздно. Вау. Wow. Alrighty. Um, well, I kind of, I kind of want to get out of this, 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 this chat. Okay. It's the the fade the blacks are really slow fade to back blacks, and they're kind of they're kind of just like awkward but I guess that's like the end of that mission so that I mean that's understandable for you, might. not much time alien is giving Livonian forces hell but dangerous core it is destructible weak if it would be destroyed hmm. all this ashen ruin or maybe much worse you and I must be ready to lay down heads American okay. I know I got it we're expendable move with grouping call sign Nagaika attack the factory Target launches and heavy weapons. Sergeant, you zasek его. Он близко, товарищ капитан. Через холм от нас. Найди си, мы начнем в полной жопе. Go, protect core. Fall out of here. Our teams have tracker beacons active. You can see on your device. I must hold position. Radio general in Kaliningrad. Следуй за мной. Не останавливаемся. Bye. What? I just disabled the drone. I did. I disabled the drone. Was ponio? Ujev poti. Kanyat sviezi. What? You did not prevent alien network destruction. What? What am I supposed to do? H am I too slow? I'm moving faster than all of the Russian forces. I don't understand. How am I? What? Why would the map, why would it be designed like that? 
Should I just revert to the very big? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna just lower the difficulty. We're just gonna rush through it, because I... I meant this. Look, look at my precision and skill level. Yet these guys are still like one tap. I'm just gonna go way down low. Like, they are potatoes at this point. And then revert it, I guess. Just God. Why do I have so many smoke grenades? Why do I have just you, nothing but smoke grenades? I need grenade it's grenades. No Why is that guy coming down? Why are these two guys laying down? I need to heal. And then we'll try this again. So where's the other GMG? It's not shooting right now. It's not just, it's deciding not to shoot. If it's a hostile GMG, that is. It's deciding not to shoot right now. Ah. Oh. All right, what's left? What's left? Arma? Arma, I did it. I did I did the thing. Ah. This is just so awkwardly paced right now. I don't understand it. Tell your Russians if they're gonna annex this country, now's the fucking time! Stay with it. Fall back to the factory. These guys are gonna think of something. Over. Eh? Shit, they better add. I just gave Dr. Tesson a gun. Out! Out for Shashka. Message over. Speak, America. Corporal Stipes withdrawing. The Livonians? They're going to be arriving any moment. They've got armored vehicles. Over. Uh. Oh no, they're on the hillside there. Yo, low boy, O's. Got him. They're down, guys. It's all right. Don't worry about it.
Oh, that's armor. So, how are we gonna get rid of the armor that's shooting the thing? Also, rude. Yeah, the armor is shooting the thing. How are we supposed to get rid of that? Are we supposed to find a T? Rock, we just got buzzed. He's coming around. One of ours? No, it's the Russians. Shashka, it's Nagaika. I see him. Приём. Вас понял. Вы тоже его видите. Шикра, Балтийский флот. Вперед, вперед, вперед! Дадим им жару, парни! Нужно еще немного продержаться. Конец. That that did not go anywhere close to the tank. Just kill the tank. <laughs> There's nothing in the trees. Kill the tank. Oh. Uh oh. No 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 no. No no no. <laughs> what are the chances that we are about to get squished? <sighs> Yay, Russians. Yeah, Russians. Where's our extraction at? I'm getting 25 frames. Extraction, extraction, extraction. Is the heli landing at an extraction? Captain Severov, Lieutenant Kingsley. My team's at the rendezvous. Is there anything we can do to assist? Over. Negative. A helicopter will take you from Livonia. Ready your men. I'm afraid you will be going to Kaliningrad. Over. Beats the shit out of here, Captain. I'd be remiss if I didn't ask. Your alien tech? Get it to the right people, okay? Scientists, not politicians. Over. We will leave. We will see, Lieutenant. That is beyond us now. Out. Kinjal to Shaska. Any of those birds got room for one more? Over. Much more. Get the helicopter. Out. Kinjal. It is Shaska. Away the mini three. You're in. Um, how is it that you say? Ninth inning, no? Yeah, ninth inning. Stay alive, especially to Rudwell. The day is not yet done. Out. Alrighty. Where are we where are we supposed to go again? Oh, that's our LZ, okay. <laughs> nah, I ain't cut out for this crap. Shashka, it's not yet done. Prepare in order. All the passengers on board. The flight is ready. Prepare. Return home. Prepare. 
Вас поняла, шашка. Слева чисто, справа чисто. Поднимаю шагат. Ладья один возвращается на базу. Конец связи. I'm guessing this is the last mission? out of our hands at least. Is that a good thing? Time will tell. It's another Earth now, Dill. Looks the same to me. Like I said, time will tell. That helicopter was carrying like an alien vehicle of some sort. Flex on first contact. Six weeks have passed, and still there is no scientific consensus on the mysterious objects collected by the visitors. One popular theory is that the giant subterranean root light networks were a type of von Neumann probe which swept across the cosmos billions of years ago when the Earth was one large supercontinent. It is thought that all 11 of the alien craft were positioned above these artifacts, buried deep beneath the ground, at seemingly random locations around the world. Of these, half were situated at sea, and only the big three were located near populated areas. Huh. One left behind following the Hopi incident in Livonia has now almost completely withered away, presumably due to measures taken by the visitors themselves. Stories continue to abound regarding this failed extraction with many claiming authorities made a discovery some weeks before first contact was established. Reliable mm -hmm. information on events, however, is difficult to confirm. Physicist, and I oh, to I didn't know I could do this. In Livonia. Dr. Kessler, welcome to the show. Thanks, good to be here. You've only just come back from Russia. Is that correct? Yeah, we had a 40-day quarantine in Kaliningrad. But now, nah, don't, don't get me wrong, I was glad for it. There was quite a lot to process. <laughs> I can imagine. Uh, and the game is... Radio Talk FM, put on a service information. Premier Nata Sepo. Taxi voice can always catch gości. Wczoraj, w trakcie trwającego w Buenos Aires, nadzwyczajnego szczytu ONZ. Sprawia się wiedzieć. Eee, and the data, it saved lives. Even though there wasn't any danger from alien bacteria. Right. But what you gotta remember is, an unknown threat, it can be as dangerous as a known one. What was your reaction when you learned the visitors were elsewhere in the world? You didn't know there were 11 ships in total at the time. I was relieved, I guess. I mean, I figured not everybody could have messed up quite as bad as we did. <laughs> I'm just glad they saw. If the electron exercises triggered something, how did the visitors get here so quickly? At the moment, the scientific community is, well, honestly, it's, it's divided. Okay. We'll go ahead with the ambitious Agaronar project, dubbed the Journey to End All Journeys. Akaronar will see a series of minuscule wafer-like robotic probes sent deep into space at a velocity one quarter the speed of light. The first step, however, involves constructing a huge 10 kilometer laser ray in orbit, employing 70 gigawatts of power. Lead engineer on the project, Gagliaro. However, British astrophysicist Simon Allcroft argues that we should not be thinking in a linear fashion. It is a known fact the time is relative. And he then believes what? That light speed isn't a cosmic limit? He does Within the Sagittarius constellation. And then to beam a message at a fixed point using the medium of neutrinos. The message itself will be composed by the UN's One Voice Council and marks the first of many attempts to reconnect with alien life. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Okay. Um. Huh. That was interesting. That was very interesting. I think the first few missions were... I think the writing was overall the best of any Arma DLC yet. I think Laws of War was really good, but this was a little bit more militarized, so I liked it being a, a more militarized uh, uh, story within uh, the, the better writing of these DLCs compared to the original campaign. Because the original campaign, in my opinion, was just outdated and kind of aged by now. But this was a lot better than I expected. I think at the end there, I got kind of fatigued by just Arma's combat and the clunkiness and the, gosh, the AI and the glitches and the trying to figure out how to talk to the alien with the scanner thing. I think at the end there, I got a little bit fatigued, but overall, I like, like the immersion of the first, I think three to four missions was really, really, really good. I, I seriously enjoyed those missions more than anything. Um, yeah, I would say that this is probably my favorite story for Arma 3 so far. Just because of the fact that it's 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 not just that it's wacky, it's not that just it's aliens, but it's also mysterious and it's not just a default war going on. You're 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 really trying to find out things on your own. And I felt like this is the most lively world. I felt like the map design supported that a lot. I felt like the the atmosphere of having really foggy dark nights um it was interesting. I think the only thing holding it back is literally just the 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 Arma 3 feel, the clunkiness, the combat. Like whenever I get into a fight, it was just another Arma 3 fight. And I really don't like that about Arma 3. Each fight feels the same to me. Um and after 3004 maybe 3700 hours, I don't know what I have in this game. I feel like that's I mean, that's I'm just trying to give you my hours to give you an example of like how much I think that's a dumb criticism to make, but every combat, every firefight to me feels the same. Um, and I feel like that's the weakest link. Like when, when, when that last battle was happening, that was the weakest part of the entire, um, the entire mission series. And I think that's just up to the Arma 3 AI being really, really aged. Um, and I was trying to kind of speed run it because the random thing would just explode with no warning. <laughs> but yeah, I still think that was really, really fun. I think the Livonia map is beautiful too. Like, man, I cannot wait to play Arma Ops on this map at night. I mean, like, let's just go into nighttime by ourselves right now and see how just the sound design is at night. Because to me, I don't know if it was scripted sounds and the music won't be there for sure. The music won't be there. Yeah. See, it's got that little spooky ambience to it. And if we get into the really thick forests, like the mountainous forests, I bet it's even more. Sound design, 10 out of freaking 10 right there. That's like beautiful. I love that. Well, yeah, guys, that's going to be it for the Arma 3 Contact DLC. If you enjoyed this series, definitely check out my other Arma 3 stuff. I've got Arma 3 Operations. I've got a lot of the King of the Hill. I've got most of the Arm other Arma 3 DLCs also uh, up on YouTube. So if you want to check them out, just look up my channel, then look up the DLC, and bam, boom, baby, bop, you probably got a mission right there for you. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>